Welcome to Fishing with Steve D. Well, where are they been catching the red claw in the last couple of weeks? Check out some of the size of these huge red claw in this video. Well, Fifi is back out red clawing again. And just to show that the girls can keep us guys very honest, uh, check out the size of some of these massive, massive red claw that Fifi has got out near uh, Townsville area around the Richmond area now apparently these creeks uh, that she was red claw fishing at have not been uh, red claw fished for over 30 years and just have a look at the results that Fifi has been getting well done Fifi that is a great effort of massive huge red claw and uh, there's some really whoppers in this one and uh, well done Fifi Purchase these pots off Steve. Um, come with these little bait canisters. As you can see in that canister, there's corn. So I ran two two canisters full of corn and give me all them. And Mick has been back out at his local lake, Lake Wyvernhoe. And um, he went out um, after purchasing um, some of our improved Australian design four entry red claw pots, funnel pots with the built in bait uh, bags in the top. And uh, one overnight soak caught all these red claw. Check out how many he caught. He ended up with 96 uh, from four of our um, heavy duty, four entry um, extra heavy duty river pots uh, in the heavy uh, duty uh, mesh with the built in bait bags, the stronger twisted struts. And he found that the bait bags worked really, really well to mix his baits. Uh, together and he caught all these red claw as a result. Well done Mick, good effort. Just because our improved Australian design um, four entry uh, red claw river pots in the extra heavy duty mesh come with a built in bait bags, it is also very very important, it is crucial, it is quite urgent that you also use a bait bottle uh, to put in your dried dog biscuits or dried cat biscuits because what we're finding in testing is that uh, the anglers that are in the know are using two bait bottles um, or a very very large bait bottle and they're putting in the dried dog biscuits and dried cat biscuits because the red claw are going to be pushing it around in packs of uh, four to five or six and what that does that releases a lot more burly from the uh, bait bottles and this will catch you a stack more red claw when you do uh, this and BJ had a two night soak out at Wyomalong Dam and he got over 200 red claw. BJ said he found the best baits to be pumpkin, potato, good o's dried dog biscuits and uh, pilchards. And they cooked it up for Christmas day and they enjoyed it on Christmas day. Well done BJ, that is a great effort. Ben is up near Townsville red clawing again. Let's see how he goes this time. Blue, beautiful yabby spot up here in far north Queensland. Um, there's some very, very beautiful yabbies in this place. So, 
we are here today, going to try Steve D's pots and give them a go and see if we can catch some beautiful red claw. Let's see how we go. And have a look at all these red claw that Ben has been catching very frequently with our economy three entry river pots. He just loves our river pots. And have a look at some of the size of these red claw. They're absolutely massive. Uh, he's up near Townsville area. So if you're up near Townsville area, go exploring. You know, have a look on Google Maps and you too will be finding and catching big massive red claw like this also. Experiment with your baits and mix your baits. Give them a cocktail of fish flesh, freshwater catfish, freshwater mullet, uh, dried dog biscuits or dried cat biscuits, overripe pumpkin. That would be a good start. And uh, you can try other baits as well, experiment, and you will catch a lot more rank claw too. We're going to empty this DVD pot into the 60 litre tub. So just stay tuned. So we can get them there. Get a good shake. And there you go, boys and girls. That is approximately 100 plus red claw out of one pot. Just a little feed, mate. And just to show you how good our round river pots and heavy duty pots are, there's something about a round pot that catches more. Have a look at this next video of another pot. That's all they're catching, but our round pots are absolutely smashing the red claw at the moment. And Adrian sent this video in of himself and his son Lockie up at Bundoomba Dam. They were averaging uh, a little while ago about 30 red claw in our heavy duty four entry pots up amongst the timber in about four meters of water on good old dried dog biscuits. So let's have a look how they went on this trip. Wow. That heavy duty pot is stacked full of big red claw. Well done, Adrian, and well done, Lockie. If you would like to catch big red claw like this, send us a message and we'll get you out the latest improved design of our red claw pots. And Mick was back out of Wyvernhoe, Lake Wyvernhoe red clawing, and um, unfortunately, when he was that excited uh, to put the pots out with the two clipping bait containers in each pot, he forgot to uh, tie up the top. So when he was pulling them up, after a two day soak, there was quite a few red claw that were falling out of the pot. So he would have had double this. So um, a good lesson learned is to tie up your um, pots at the top, um, but now we have the speedy clips, so you don't have to worry about that. But regardless, Mick got a good feed of red claw, and he's got something really good. He mixes his bait with uh, the fish flesh, uh, the, the rock melon, the uh, sweet potato, uh, the kiwi fruit, the dog biscuits. Uh, he mixes his bait all together here like this photo and it's a really great idea to do that because that will increase your catch rate of red claw. But just remember, tie up the top of your pots or clip them up with a speedy clips. Peter was out at Lake Maraboon, which is the second largest lake in Queensland, 25 kilometers southwest of Emerald. And he caught all these massive red claw. And he also followed it up with Jeff. Um, a trip before um, caught all these red claw at the same location also. Well done, Peter, and well done, Jeff. This is a good catch of red claw and they are massive well here is danny and he's pulling up one of our heavy duty pots and uh, got a few in there um, but he's finding at uh, lake samson vale the water after the rains is a little bit cloudy and this is affecting the catch rate of the red claw there's not as many getting caught now he did a 24 hour soak and he was using uh, the new dried cat food um, the seafood brand at aldi and he's dropping them a little bit shallower because of the water uh, rise. 
uh, in the, about two to three meters of water along the edge near the structure, whether they're wig beds or whether they're timber or whether they're both is working really, really well. Now this is the original heavy duty, um, the bigger pot and um, it got a few in as well. So well done Danny, that's a um, good catch of red claw in tough conditions. And Carid caught these big red claw up at Kania Dam recently. Well done Carid, good catch of red claw.